Hey guys, it's Christopher, and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today I'm going to explain Quest Properties, um, except that this is a French version of the editor, so let's try this again. Okay. Uh, you can open Quest Properties from here, the root element of the Quest tree, open Properties. And you also have file quest properties with the control P shortcut. I um, we already saw a few things here, in particular the write directory. Um, so quest properties are really some meta information about your game, and it's nice to give the um, to fill in all of this fields. So first it displays the Solaris version 1.5 currently. Um, the right directory, so uh, this we already saw. It must be something different for, for each game because for people that have who have uh, installed several games made with Solaris uh, you don't want other games to write in the same directory, their save games, as yours. Okay, so you can actually see save game files in uh, home directory and then dot solaris. Uh, let's try to see this. Oh, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> uh, dot solaris. Okay, so I have a lot of. a lot of game folders, but um, this is the one of the tutorial. It's empty because we never saved anything, we haven't saved anything so far, but uh, if I go see one of my games, I have uh, two same save game files in, in this game apparently, and a few other files. So, each game each quest should have its own directory. So that's why uh, when you do file new quest, this is initialized with a unique ID like this. To make sure that uh, there is no con there are no conflicts. So okay, this is a right directory. And then the quest title is displayed here by default. You can still change the window title uh, from a script later. And the, the quest title and the other information below are also displayed, and this is the most important part actually, in the Solaris Launcher GUI. So normal users don't play your game from the quest editor, of course, because <laughs> they could also uh, see all maps and easily cheat. Normally they should play your game uh, from the launcher. So it's nice to put as much information as possible. So if I add the quest of the tutorial uh, here, the Zelda one, boom, it's shown here. It already has the title tutorial quest and the author Christopher, but the rest is empty. So this is not this is not great. Let's fix this summary. <coughs> um, quest used for video tutorials. Um, okay, this quest quest contains maps and script. Used in the um, what's the name of the playlist? Solar, oops, Solaris tutorial YouTube playlist. Author, oh, you can make you can put your name here or several names. I don't know, or the name of your team. You can put a version number. You can even say 
uh, that the game is already released or will be released at some date in the future and put your website here okay save and the rest here um, is something different it defines the, the size of the playable game so first I'm going to show you the result of what we just did so it's a bit better we have a description here um, currently this summary this one line summary is not used but th this may change one day and um, yeah so the rest here is uh, what we call the quest size there will be an entire tutorial about it but um, just to explain it's not the size of a window because the size of the window is can be changed by the user uh, but it's a logical size of of your game area so in this game is always uh, 312 by uh, 240 and then uh, the quest the screen is, is scaled to fit in the window, okay? But uh, we will we'll see this in more details in a future episode. Um, and finally, it will be very nice to put an icon here and a logo here because that's what other games do. And maybe one day, so for now, um, you already have in this you only have in this list uh, quests that are installed in the computer so you can add them here or remove them <laughs> but maybe one day there will be a, a second tab with quests to download so a list very similar to this one and then it's uh, very nice it would be very nice to have a logo uh, and an icon um, so let's do this. You need to go see the documentation, and by the way, the, uh, the documentation will become your your favorite link. Um, when you are in the editor, you have you have a link to the documentation here. You can also press F1, and you end up on this page, solarisgame.org, uh, doc, and um, by latest normally. Currently, it's the same because the latest release is 1.5. And about the logo and icons, uh, see quest data file specification, quest logos and icons. And in this page, uh, you should read it. I explain uh, the exact file names and dimensions to use. So for the logo, it should be a PNG image of this size called logos. Uh, slash logo.png and for the icon it's best to have a lot of different sizes and then the GUI use whatever size it prefers uh, so let's go I won't draw a logo or an icon in this episode I will just copy the one of uh, Zelda Mr. of Solaris DX Data Logos So uh, let's find again Tutorial Quest I create the Logos directory First I copy the logo If I run this again I have the logo here Okay. And then all icons PNG. Um, these one are not uh, recognized by the engine, but um, the this quest used them use them for the the Windows version and the Mac version.
Now the icon should show up here. Yes, it works. Very nice. So, this is probably everything I wanted to say about Quest properties. Again, if you have any question, feel free to ask. And don't forget to like the video if you like the tutorial playlist. And see you next time. Bye.